The third annual Uranura Honey Show and historic first OECS Honey Show will take place this weekend in St. Lucia. President of the Association of Caribbean Beekeepers Organizations, Richard Mathias, described the event as a significant moment, having all regional beekeepers present for the third Uranura Honey Show and the momentous first OECS Honey Show in St. Lucia. It has been a dream of mine to take apiculture across the Caribbean and with the assistance of Jeff SGP and the stewardship of Mr. Giles Rumbusless, we've managed to accomplish that, I believe. Um, I've been fortunate enough to interact with many of you, if not all of you, um, our Caribbean participants. And today, indeed, is a humbling experience for me. It also is a reminder that as long as we continue to dream and vision, we can achieve. Matthias encouraged the participants to take advantage of the opportunity and continue to cooperate and collaborate for the advancement of apiculture in the region. It will also help us to develop regional honey trade, which we all know is under threat from external sources. I see a future where we can trade our honey safely between our countries, one where we can correct, correct measures one with the correct measures for testing, our place not only to safeguard our honey, but also eliminate, the, eliminate fake honey from our region. Participating countries in the first OECS Honey Show include Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and St. Lucia. The president of the Bee Association of Antigua and Barbuda was inspired by the third Uranora Honey Show, hoping to replicate the event in her native country. Being here for the first time and be a part of the Honey Show, we are grateful. We are very, very grateful. And we are hoping that the next Honey Show, we are welcoming you to Antigua and Barbuda. We're really looking forward to have something like that and even adding any other person who would like to, to a honey show. I want to say thank you again. Senior Programs Manager and National Coordinator for Jeff Small Grants Program, UNDP, Giles Romulus, views the leaps and bounds taken by St. Lucia in apiculture as a call to propel more innovative and transformative ideas to the fore. Let us aspire to the greatest heights. Let us go international and let us make this industry one that is controlled, one that is managed, the factors of production managed by Caribbean people, that is developed for Caribbean people and the benefits derived to Caribbean people. This is a goal that we have and we hope to achieve it. We have here Another important point I want to make before I, I sit is research and innovation is critical to what we do now and in, in, into the future. If we do not research and we do not innovate, we will stand still and we will eventually fall and others will bypass us. That is why the Makoti Apiculture Research and Learning Institute is our next big dream. It's going to become a center of excellence of research in apiculture, in STEAM, in mangroves and coral reefs, in gastronomy, in epi, in epitourism, epitherapy. We are bringing to St. Lucia ideas that have yet to be considered by the government of St. Lucia. But we are going to slowly inoculate them with our ideas. And very soon, we hope they will be responsive. Officials are hopeful that the expansion of the event will serve as an occasion for information sharing and partnerships to develop the regional apiculture industry.